today we're talking about the fun topic of financial planning, <clears throat> building your budget. And as we, as you know, you've been here for almost two or three months now. Um, we talk a lot about financials, saving money, running a tight financial ship. Uh, one of the number one reasons that agents fail out <clears throat> or don't <clears throat> or don't successfully um, last is that they tend to not make wise decisions with how they spend their money. And it's like feast or famine, right? They have a closing one month, they spend all their money, then they don't have closings for two months. And it's like this constant race. So one of our goals for, for you and our team is to create that consistent income, but more importantly, create that consistent financial plan and consistent budget uh, well below where we think, you know, our means so that uh, every month we have a surplus and we're starting to build reserves. Um, so at this point in your, in your training, it becomes really important to be very honest with your budget worksheet and our director of sales or me or, or your mentor and just be super duper honest about your spending. Um, it's also really important to know you should be spending no money uh, on unnecessary items. That means Grubhub, eating out to lunch, um, anything really. All of your money should be saved for, for your, your necessary living expenses so that uh, once you're six months in or 12 months in and you're seeing consistent sales, then you can start to eat out and start to build your lifestyle. One of the major mistakes I see agents make is that they they assume their best year is their their um, their every year, right? So they typically build their lifestyle up to the best year that they had, and unfortunately, uh, the market doesn't always react that way. So you might have a year where you do fifty percent of the sales you did, um, and then you be, you you get in real financial trouble. The other key is when you get a paycheck, you need to distribute 20 to 30% of that paycheck to taxes because no one's going to pay that for you. So you're about to learn the financial model. We've taught this before to you, uh, but you're going to download the budget worksheet. You're going to fill out your budget. You're going to meet with your coach, and then we're going to start operating on a consistent financial model. This will benefit you when you're making six figures. Now you can really save money and start building wealth and start investing, and that's what we all want.